Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Bins Blog. Well, today we are going to talk about the excitation system of a Leroy Summer alternator. So, as you know of uh, excitation system, we have uh, four types of excitations. We have the shunt, the RIP, and the RIP plus and the PMG so let's talk about it first thing we're going to talk about is the shunt connections okay okay so let's talk about first the shunt system so meaning uh, the shunt system this is the type of excitations systems which the AVR powered and the voltage reference are picked on the same amount or the same output terminal so the EVR generates and regulates the excitation current as the functions of the alternator output so the shunt excitation system can also be complete completed by booster system for the larger applications this one in order to allow the short circuit for the short circuit compatibility in these situations, current and transformer are added in the terminal box to increase the supply voltage range. In these situations, it is not always possible and adds an external cost due to the transformer and purchase of and installations. Okay guys, so meaning shunt EVR is fully controlled by the EVR itself means that it is fully generated see here meaning it is AVR is generates and regulates the excitation current as the functions of the alternator output so here is our connections guys so this is very simple and easy to identify because we have only the four wire connections here is our uh, if1 if2 which is connected this one in our exciter exciter field while the sensing is connected to your sensing side for your terminal connections okay this is very simple to identify if it is shunt connections because we have only four wire connections the sensing and your exciter field connections so Let's go to the uh, ARIP connections. So meaning here, let's read it. ARIP plus, this is ARIP plus. This system is uses the output voltage for the main stator as the supply voltage and a single ex auxiliary winding inserted in selections, selected slots of the main stator for booster effects. Okay, for booster effects this combination of these two sources is then used to power the regulator thus combining the power of the traditional shunt system with the reliability and the control level of an RF system under the same conditions more power is taken to the supply the regulator which improve the excitations capabilities okay so RF system is improved as electrical performance of equipped machines especially during transient short circuit load shading or load impact pieces oh this is so this is very good applications for your uh, uh, like if there is some short circuit for a short period of time and for the impact load so this here as you can see the co connections is added to connection here the yellow line as you can see so now if you are going to identify this r plus means 
you have the extra auxiliary winding which is inserted to the selective uh, slots here so we have only one uh, auxiliary winding this is the yellow color here and the rest of the connections is your exciter field your uh, sensing this is the sensing is your blue and your line to neutral connections so this is the x1 x2 so this is the color of your uh, line to neutral connections so how many connections are there so this is uh, this is by peers so this is exciter field connections uh, auxiliary connections your line to uh, neutral connections and your sensing connections in total of two four six eight okay so one two three four five six seven eight so this is total of eight uh, connections so you know th the simple things you have to understand is only we have the auxiliary winding in order to boost your excitation level so it will only uh, uh, improve uh, the excitation level for your uh, short uh, circuit or what you see here for your uh, to improve the performance of the machines which especially for your draw during the transient I mean transient that is a short amount of time uh, for a short circuit this is for the load shading or the impact load so this is perfect for uh, like you have the uh, higher impact load for your uh, uh, your uh, uh, site okay so this is a go very good uh, uh, performance for the this kind of connections so let's go for the arip because that this one is arip plus so here we have the arip connections let's read it arip excitation system the avr is power power supply comes from the two separately auxiliary winding so now they have the two separately uh, auxiliary windings the arip plus is only one auxiliary uh, winding so that is the different uh, uh, you can identify that there is if, if, if you see that there is two uh, auxiliary windings so mean this one is the RF connections if you have one so meaning that is the RF plus connections okay let's uh, continue to the uh, our uh, uh, to read this one the voltage is delivered by the first auxiliary winding or this is the H1 is proportional to the alternator output voltage shunts characteristics the, uh, the voltage is delivered by the second auxiliary winding this is the h3 it is uh, proportional to the current drawn by the alternator and the functions of the applied loads mm. this is both effects so the power supply of the avr is powered power circuit is dependent from the voltage sensing oh okay so so this is dependent from your voltage sensing so it's only taken from your uh, auxiliary connections mm -hmm. so let's see let's try it again the power supply to the AVR power circuit is dependent from the voltage sensing measured on the alternator output terminal okay therefore the excitation current is delivered by the avr to the alternator exciter is not affected or is not affected by any voltage distortions or any harmonic Ooh, so meaning this is very clean output uh, of this type of uh, connections this is the rf connections due to the load the rf system is give the alternator a high short circuit capability for LSC range to 300 plus percent 300 percent in 10 seconds Ooh. 
nice so here is our connections here so as you can see we have same exciter felt only the two auxiliary winding here it's added okay so as you can see the yellow line this is the two auxiliary winding and then the rest of that is your voltage sensing okay so same uh, numbers of connections as the re plus but only the differences is your uh, two uh, winding uh, auxiliary winding okay so let's go to our um, PMG. So let's read it. PMG excitation system is the AVR power supply voltage is generated by the permanent magnet. So this is not taken from your uh, um, oh, voltage sensing. It is taken from your uh, permanent magnet. Okay. Permanent magnet generator as what we call as PMG that is mounted in the shaft extensions at the non-drive end of the alternator okay the pmg delivered the constant voltage regardless of the main alternator winding so it is not uh, include the main alternator winding so we have their own uh, separately winding in this uh, type of uh, excitations PMG system of high overvolt, I mean high overload and short circuit for LSC range 300 percent in 10 second capabilities. Okay, the permanent magnets used to in the PMG to ensure enough remanent magnetism and secure the system start up even after long shutdown period okay ah because uh, sometimes you know if you are uh, sometimes you know we encounter the situations where uh, our uh, alternator is no output why what happened for that one because uh, of the loss excitations uh, there is no magnetism inside that it can accumulate so this uh, pmz even for the long period of time you're not using your alternator it will not happen that uh, there is no excitation or there is no uh, magnetism inside of your alternator so this is the one who will uh, uh, give you a perfect uh, magnetism so pmg can be installed on the existing mechanic shunt or arip when it's required mm, this is also applicable in the shunt and arip if it is if you are needed so as an alternative to pmg shunt and arip or R plus system can be completed with the permanent magnet insert inserts or PMI in this case permanent magnet are mounted to the exciter stator poles okay so as you can see uh, if there is no PMG uh, this magnet you can find in your uh, exciter uh, field so there is some slots there that uh, you can see there is some small magnets uh, like a small bar in the magnets there to maintain the magnetism of your uh, exciter so this is the starting point for your uh, uh, magnets uh, when it is uh, at the crank point okay so that's why sometimes we are losing the magnetism because for prolonged period of time that you are not using but in the pmg even if this one is standby for how many months or years it will not happen that there is no magnetism okay this is perfect and this is also uh, applicable for high range of uh, short circuit for amount of uh, 10 seconds same as the arip uh, yes they have also uh, the capabilities of 300 percent uh, short range uh, I mean uh, the 300 percent of short circuit capabilities at 10 seconds only different is the the RF is there is no uh, extra uh, uh, mounting system like the PMG while the the this one is only added the 
extra auxiliary winding so that's it uh, for the explanations for this as you can see here also for our uh, connections here so in the AVR side and our connections is added the three wires here for your PMG and for your exciter field so the blue one is your uh, sensing side so here is the connections the red one is for your uh, wiring connections for your PMG and the exciter field is for your um, exciter field and the blue one is for your sensing point okay so I mean voltage sensing point so now you can easily identify which uh, connections that you are using for the rear isomer connections this one is also applicable in any alternator but they have their own uh, uh, what we call their own designs and uh, their own uh, numberings for this so though it is the same uh, applications the same functionality uh, this type of connection so i will just only uh, give you little idea for this kind of excitation so once again this is uh, excitation system is we have the shunt which is uh, full controlled by your EVR so there is no uh, auxiliary windings this is only four wire connections so we have the sensing and your excited field why while the RIP is we have the one RIP plus I mean we have the one uh, auxiliary winding so that is the uh, you can identify this one is also can be uh, performs is also good performance up to 30% depends on the generator model okay so that's uh, what you are going to identify if you are going to uh, understand that uh, RE plus has only one uh, auxiliary, auxiliary winding and the RE connections is two auxiliary winding which is we have the higher H1 and the H3 okay so this is uh, very good for the uh, what we hear is this is the clean uh, voltage output so this is also uh, very good in the short circuit tree okay so our shunt is we have the ex extra uh, magnetic si magnetic setup this is what we call the PMG and you can identify easily because this is not uh, wired internally as the same as uh, the auxiliary winding this one is separately installed to the uh, here is a tilling this is uh, it is mounted from your uh, drive end of the alternator okay so that is the PMG so the total is uh, we have four types of excitation uh, system so guys if you have some questions or if you have some uh, doubts of everything that I am telling you so we we'll just review this one if just comment down below so we are going to share all this knowledge we are going to share what is your ideas what your your how the way you understand about this uh, excitation system so just comment down below to my YT and let's talk about it so once again Vince Blog is here See you again in my next vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share as well. See you again. Bye bye.